Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the French Riviera. My name is Mitch Erickson, and right now I'd like to present a most, a most unusual invention. And for this invention, I will need the assistance of someone in the audience who'd like to help out. Find someone mean, Dan. Mean and cruel. Mean, cruel, and divisive, Dan. I know you can do it. Find someone. Let's see those hands. Oh, he's found his contestant. Let's give her a big round of applause as she makes her way up to the stage. Let's, step right up. Let's give her another big round of applause because she's taking so long. One step right over here, right over the trap door. There you go. Okay, what's your name and where are you from? I'm Jennifer, I'm from Pittsburgh. Sorry? I'm Jennifer and I'm from Pittsburgh. I heard you, I'm just sorry. Okay, Jennifer, this truly is a marvelous invention. Hey, can, okay, okay. Hey, can, you have some fans out there, do you, Jennifer? Anyway, this truly is a marvelous invention. It can cure headaches, toothaches, and even earaches. In the magic world, we like to call this wonderful invention a... Guillotine. You know what a guillotine is, Jennifer? Yeah, cut your head off. <laughs> we have a quick one, ladies and gentlemen. I know what you're thinking, Jennifer. This looks pretty dangerous. I know this blade looks real, but it isn't. It looks really sharp. But it's not, Jennifer. It's just a trick. And I'm so confident that it couldn't hurt anybody that I'm willing to risk your neck to prove it. So let's have a great big round of applause for our sucker, our spectator, Jennifer. Let me explain the intricacies of this inhuman device. The blade is made from solid, hand-forged steel, polished and ground to a razor's edge. It's held in place by this chain. Once the chain is released, the blade falls at a velocity of 25 miles an hour and has the power to sever a 2x4 piece of plywood or anything else that might be in its way. <laughs> How do you feel down there, Jennifer? Scared. <laughs> Finally, someone honest. Okay, now, for everybody in the audience with a squeamish stomach, it is suggested that you turn your head. <laughs> Just kidding, Jennifer. So it won't be a total shock to Jennifer. Let's all count to three before we... Well, before going through with it. When I say three, that blade is going to drop through Jennifer's neck. <laughs> we appreciate your concern, sir. We've got some sick people in the audience. I like it. Okay, now we're going to do this on the count of three. Everybody count with me. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, sorry, Jennifer, I forgot something. Well, you see, Jennifer, it's this. It's this. Don't look at me that way, Jennifer. It's this, invent, it's this invention, Jennifer. <laughs> well, it, it hasn't been. It hasn't been 100% effective, all right? But don't worry, we've taken care of everything. We do our part to keep the stage clean, Jennifer. Now you do yours and aim for the basket. <laughs> Now's not a good time to make me angry, Jennifer. We're gonna try this one more time with Jennifer's cooperation, I hope. On the count of three, everybody get with me. Ready? One, two, three. I Dan, I told you to clean that basket out. Oh, that's disgusting. Look at that. Oh, that's a mess. <laughs> Probably left over from our last show. Are you all right, Jim? Hang in there, buddy. I think we got some Pepto backstage. Just to prove the sharpness of this blade, we're going to place a carrot past Jennifer's neck. Carrot. Oh yeah, three! Don't move, Jennifer, don't even breathe, because what goes down must come up. Now I'm gonna remove these stocks. I want you to pull your head out and grab a hold of your ears. Quickly, grab a hold of your ears. Hold on tight, do not let go. Come up here and face the front, Jennifer. Come up here and face the front, Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer! Okay, Jennifer, slowly let go of your ears. Jennifer, I want you to move your head from side to side. No rhythm whatsoever. Okay, Jennifer, this is very important. Do you have a cold, sore throat, or a headache? No. We've cured her, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Give her a great big round of applause.
And you tell me when to stop, all right? Whenever you think there's enough out there, Mary. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me now, I'm gonna roll. Oh. <laughs> Whenever you think there's enough out there, Mary, you just tell me when to stop, okay? You think that's enough, see? travels all over the world, and we hope you've enjoyed going with us.
director of the Theater of Doom stars from Batesville, Arkansas, Mr. Clayton Cavanagh, and from Seattle, Washington, Mr. Mitch Erickson. Let's hear it for him.